I don't think I can quite say this enough. Help is desperately needed in Nepal after a massive earthquake claimed the lives of nearly 4,000 people. More than 7,000 survivors need medical help. And now UNICEF says 1 million children are in need of emergency assistance. My next guest is trying to answer that call for help. He is Prabal Gurung. He is a celebrated fashion designer who has dressed the likes of the First Lady, Michelle Obama, Duchess Kate Middleton. He grew up in Nepal and since setting up this relief fund for quake survivors, his foundation has raised, we're watching the numbers, um, more than $230 thousand uh, dollars. Prabal, it is so nice to have you on. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I am I sorry it. for what has happened to your home. Can we just begin with your family? You have sev multiple family members yes. back in Nepal. Mm. How are they doing? Um, they're doing fine as fine as they can like the rest of the nation. You know, I think my, my mom, my brother, um, brother-in-law, sister, father, everyone, my relatives, they're all there stranded outside, you know, because they can't s stay inside the house because they're still the uh, aftershocks are really severe. Wait, how do you mean? Let me stop you there. So they're worried they can't be in the house in because the, it's rattling, yeah. things could you, fall on yes. them. So and where are they staying? So they're actually in an open space in, on, on the ground, like in the tented and... Um, Literally, like you know, with it's it's almost like camping outside, and it, and it's just not them. It's everyone in Nepal, and 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 in Kathmandu especially, like you know, and in the villages they don't have resources, so they can't even do that. So, and on top of that, it's raining nonstop, and uh, there's no electricity. So, you know, the connections are spotty. So it's been really difficult trying to get in touch with them. And luckily, you know, with WhatsApp and social media like a Facebook, Twitter, everyone's in kind of, you know, keeping in touch. Then my, I went to school there, so my group of friends, we've started a forum about like, talking about what's happening. Some of us are here, some of us are around the world, and a uh, few of them are in Nepal, and so they're letting us know what is happening. And, you know, it's, it's harrowing. It's really, really uh, disturbing because it is one of the, I mean, when I look at the pictures and I see, like, in all the per, like, personal images that people have sent me, it is devastating. It's heart-wrenching. Do you feel, I mean, it must be tough for you because here you are, like, your heart is back there, which is your family, yeah. right? So it's this, almost this sense of, I want to help, I want to help, but yeah. this disconnect, yeah. too, yeah. right? So one of the reasons was, you know, the minute I heard, I was like, you know, um, non-action is not an option at all. Like, I have to do something, you know, I mean... You know, we talk about doing good stuff and everything on an, every day, but this is the time. For like, this is when we really need to, you know, get to it. Yeah, get to it. Walk the talk, and do, you know, and so we started. So I started. That's that's one of the reasons. So I have a foundation, Sikhya Foundation in Nepal, which means education, and it is pre preliminary started with educating displaced children and everything. So I took that, um, um, you know, my foundation and started a fundraising thing on CrowdRise, and I just went for it. You know, like and. I am fortunate enough because of what I love to do. I've been able to have some kind of an audience and a platform and connection. So I reached out to all the people like who have, let's say, millions of followers on social media or connection. Let's name some names. Who's helping you out? The, I mean, the, immediately Sarah Jessica Parker, who's a dear friend of mine, to um, you know Zoe Saldana, to and Kim Kardashian. You know, like it, it went from there to um, and and CFDA Council of Fashion Designers of America. They immediately uh, pledged ten thousand dollars without uh, and Diane von Furstenberg, who's the president of the uh, uh, you know CFDA, to all the designers, fashion community globally. Everyone they're all jumping in to help jumping. you help Nepal. Absolutely, and it's you phenomenal. know it has been really really great. And so. Um, you know, I was, I'm, I'm always very careful about asking for favors and everything, but this is the time I was like, you know, no shame. I'm just going to reach out and ask for it because I, we need to raise the money right now because that is the most important thing because right now the immediate relief funds are needed and there are Red Cross and like an Oxfam and everyone doing their bits. But what happens in a week or two? You know, when the world's attention is diverted to another disaster somewhere else. In Nepal, and this rehabilitation, like rebuilding process is going to take for a long time. Where do people want to go? I can feel the people watching thinking this is wonderful. How can I find this yeah. man and help him? What, how can people help you? You know, you should go to CrowdRiser. And uh, under that, you know, I have Nepal Earthquake Relief Fund and okay. Prabal Gurung, Prabal like trouble with a P. So just in case people doesn't, in, in, they don't know how to we pronounce got it. it. And, in, and just go there, donate. And if, it's, if you don't, and, and you know, I feel like people should donate to, um, um, I would say, organizations that they, you know, they trust, they believe. They, no, we they have an Impact Your yeah, World website. Exactly. We vet everyone, cnn.com slash impact. So we try yeah. to help. You're helping. Yeah. Prabal, thank you so much. Absolutely. Our best. 
thoughts and wishes and everything to your family and just anyone over there just um, trying to work through this with the rains and living in tents. Yeah. I can't even begin to imagine. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, the Nepalese people are, you know, grace under pressure. Grace so, under pressure. And so I know they're very spiritual and I know they'll get through this. Thank you, sir. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you.